know, something to, uh, that was weird. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Hey, 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 Productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Yeah, Stop Nation, welcome, welcome back. It is so wonderful to see you again. Thank you for joining me here. If it's your first time, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Yes. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Alan Wade. Thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, um, what are we gonna do first? Oh yeah, today, um, we're gonna wash some clothes. Yeah, that, that's right. We're washing some clothes today. <laughs> so you guys asked for it, so I, I'm going to do it for you guys. You guys wanted a wash test. Remember these two shirts? This shirt sublimated directly onto cotton, a little bit of fade, vintage look, I like it. We want to see if it fades in a wash, right? And this shirt right here was the one that was sublimated onto 100% cotton using our treatment that we got from Amazon. You guys suggest I get a roller, a lot more vivid. But we're going to see if it lasts after we wash it. We're going to wash and dry both of these shirts, guys. All right. So, yeah. And then, who can forget this shirt? Remember this shirt, guys? This shirt I did with the Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus or was it Silhouette Cameo 4? I think it was done with Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus. But I'm not going to lie to you. I washed this shirt quite a few times already, maybe about six. And right around the edges, the letters are starting to slightly show some type of wear. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it again and we're gonna dry the shirt and then we're gonna press it. So we're gonna see um, if we can rejuvenate and get the letters to look like it's brand new again after we washed it a few times and we press it so you guys can see the benefits of using this stuff and how you can like rejuvenate stuff that's been pressed on the shirts. I know with vinyl, when the vinyl starts coming up, the vinyl is still there. So if you press it again, or even if you use an iron, you can, it, it'll look just like brand new again. But ink, once it gets washed away, the ink is gone, baby. Benefits of vinyl. So without further ado, guys, oh, one more thing. And after that, we're gonna go, we're gonna do an unboxing. We have a package that we got in the mail and um, it's some supplies. So stick around to the end of the video so you guys can see that, guys. But for now, let, let, let's go wash some clothes. Let's go. What up, Dub Nation? Please hit that like button so more A-Dub videos will be found in the YouTube algorithm. Please, do it now. Do it, do it right now. I'm waiting. Okay. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there, guys. So, um, guys, we're just gonna put these two shirts inside and I'm going to use bleach because it's white clothes. I'm gonna use bleach and I'm gonna use a little bit of detergent. Treat it like normal, a little bit of bleach, a little bit of detergent. We're only washing two shirts and we're gonna see what happens. And then we're gonna put this shirt in here and then we'll see what happens. We're gonna do everything, two separate loads, but you guys don't have to see everything. So let's load up. A little bit of detergent, just a little bit. Softener of the fabric, a little tad bit of the bleach. Well, that's a bit much, huh, guys? Let's see how the colors last. I don't know. All right, it's done the wash. Let's see what we have here. Damn, that's pretty messed up there. That looks like the one that was treated. That's pretty jacked up. And this looks like the one that was just straight to cotton. And I mean, it's still even, but it's also faded. Let's put them in the dryer. This has a whole light spot right here. This is just totally ruined. Put them in the dryer. A Dub Productions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about some stuff real fast. Uh, the wash, the wash, the wash. Proved a lot of things. Um, check a look at the shirts. 
Uh, the one that has the vintage type of look. Totally useless. Yeah, no. This looks like your old, old pajamas that you had for a whole, like a lot of years. It looks washed out, it looks faded, it's almost gone. Look at our poor llama from Vexels. Shouts out to Vexels. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Vexels is a website that you can purchase a membership for and they have unlimited designs that, well, I won't say unlimited, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of designs that you can use to start your clothing apparel. They have different types of, types of files that you can manipulate in Photoshop and things like that. And um, you can even submit your custom design elements and they can customize something for you. Uh, and I heard it through the grapevine that they might be having a sale coming soon. Stay tuned for that. But um, if you're interested, check out Vexels in the description down below. Check out, check out the website. It's a real valuable resource, and this is where I got the llama from. Okay, so look at the llama. Both of them look like crap, to be honest with you guys. This one, um, I could have applied the, I could have applied some more of the substance to the shirt right here because you see it's like really really faded right here it's like unevenly faded but it's still darker than this one but the thing is this one is faded at a more even coat it's faded at a more even le um, level than this one so long story short just sub on polyester um, this stuff is no good um, if anybody had better luck in the comment section down below let me know uh, I, I, obviously I would have got better results if I would have used a roller and rolled uh, the solution on this shirt evenly I would have gotten better results because as you guys see all right here is like big faded right but all over here even fade because we didn't use any solution at all we just sublimated directly to cotton it's good to know that it works, but this is like this would be like a one-use shirt, one-wear shirt, because you see how much the uh, wash washed away, and you see how much of an impact the wash had on this, because all this right here is faded, guys. So yeah, that's it for those shirts. Now, let's look at this shirt that I've had for a while, and we put these shirts in the washers and the dryers. Shirt still looks good, still looks vibrant. All right, let's lay it down. Let's check it out. Still looks good, still looks vibrant. Um, fresh out of the, uh, the, the dryer. All right, um, I don't know if you guys can see right now, but the letters are starting to come up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this shirt. We're gonna press it to see what happens and if it looks good again, because what can happen, if, even if you don't, if, if you use this method and you sell it to your customer, you want them to know that they can, even if they can use an iron, Put like something over top of it, use iron, and it might look just as good as new. So just for curiosity's sake, let's just press it. Let's just press it, and let's see if these little letters that are coming up just lay back down. Let's see. Hey, peoples and peepets, you are now tuned in to an A-Dub production. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It'll really help the channel. And if you want to see the hits as they come, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. You will not be disappointed. Back to your show. All right, guys, our heat press is all heated up and ready to go. We're just going to lay our shirt down flat. See where the edges are up right there and right here. Just going to see if we press it one time, will it... Will it like go back to normal so let's just see it's not even that bad i've seen vinyl shirts and i've had vinyl shirts actually it's way worse than this and um press them back to life so that's the benefit of using like vinyl or using a material that lays on top of the shirt you can press it back to life i'm getting a lot of lumps in here let me uh shake it out a little bit and lay it back down so it'd be flat because this is fresh got fabric softener in it and everything is very very thick looking good though looking good my teflon sheet fell over the table let me grab it real fast guys bear with me bear with me all right so let me lay this down strategically so that corners will be flat again cool and let me just press it just for a few seconds we're not going to do like a oh look there's not that much tension on there let me 
push them. Adjust that a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. And here we go. Here we go. Put some pressure on there. Just for a few seconds. Doesn't have to be a long time, you know, maybe like 10, 20 or something like that. You know. All right. That should be sufficient for a reapplication of a shirt. Let's see what we got. Oh, it definitely pressed it back, but you know, uh, didn't do a good job laying that down, but it definitely pressed everything back for the most part. Yep, just as I thought. Uh, vinyl does the same thing. Um, overlapped on the corner right there because I didn't lay it down good enough and the corner of this is totally missing but it did the trick I've like I said I, on my on my YouTube shirts my Ada production shirts I've done it with vinyl where the vinyl was you know up way more than this was up and um, pressed it and it was good as new so just keep that in mind when you when you have vinyl shirts just because the vinyl starts coming up is just does not does not mean it's ruined Ada productions all right time to get to business get down to business get down to business we have a box in front of us right here and this is everybody's um everybody enjoys unboxing stuff um i i, I love unboxing stuff i love opening up new stuff and i want to share this with you guys i do this all the time on my other channel for those of you guys that like unboxing YouTube.com backslash Alan Wade. Subscribe to that channel and I will be unboxing all items non-t-shirt related on and non-merch related on that, um, that site right there. So uh, let's unbox this, shall we? Oh, something to uh, open up the box. Perfectly normal. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice and sharp, nice and sharp. Ship shoppity shop. Never the blade towards you. All right. Get that open now. Open now. Ah, okay, that's good. Especially not. Let's put this away before we uh, end up a bloody hot mess. Mm -hmm. You guys get the first C. What do we have here? Hats. We have caps. Boom. Boom. White caps. Wow. We have red caps. Ah, ah, ah. Blue. Blue caps. Ah, ah, ah. All right. So, guys, we got red blue and white caps what kind of caps do we have here these kind of caps you guys see it you guys get a good look from up top all right got the band right here right we got the little snap on the side and we got the, this is one two three four five six panel lounger caps love these things you guys know what we're doing with these? MT-1501. You got that right, baby. So uh, I already have some orders I have to fill for designs to put on the MT-1501. So I'm gonna be, uh, you remember the hair salon one that I did? I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but those of you guys who didn't see it, um, check that out. This is when I, uh, I think it was like my second design or third, I don't know. But um, that video, I got, you know, maybe half of this is going to um, the hair salon owner. All right, and we got red and we got navy blue. Really, really excited. Can't wait to stitch some stuff on here. Half of them are probably going to be wasted because I'm going to practice on them. I'm going to practice and practice makes perfect. And you got to practice, guys. You got to practice. You can't just go into this stuff and, and, you know, expect to be perfect. You have to practice. Only thing I'm regretting right now is getting this thing on the side, but it's okay because this type of hat, um, I'm not gonna like embroider something on the front, then embroider something on the side. I'm just gonna do something on the front. So uh, yeah, all right. 
So guys, there you have it, there you have it, there you got it, there you got it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Showed you guys a lot of stuff. It was fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And stay tuned for more dope videos. Got some Rakoma MT1501 hat embroidery stuff coming up real soon. And not only that, I think we have some, possibly some sweatshirts coming in the mail. And we're going to do our first design with the Rokoma on a sweatshirt. I think that might be coming up. I'm not, I'm not sure. Stay tuned and see, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit the merch store, alanaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel. Don't forget to buy some blanks from awblanks.com. And don't forget to always, 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 always be using my Amazon link every time you buy anything on Amazon because it helps the channel out a lot. Anytime you're shopping on Amazon, I don't care if you're buying Q-tips. Dove soap, um, feminine hygiene products, male hygiene products, shaving products, hair cream, hair, you know, lotions, soaps, uh, I said soaps already, cameras, TVs, it's Thanksgiving, if you're shopping, I don't know, I don't know if, you, I wonder if you can Amazon shop, I don't, I don't know, but anyway, use my Amazon link, click to navigate you to Amazon, navigate away from that product that it took you to, buy the product that you want, Pay nothing extra, it helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. And use all the other links down the bottom. Heat transfer, all that good stuff. Vexels, all that good stuff. The vinyl stand, all of them. Use all of them, guys. Because it's uh, how I make my living now. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hmm, yep. It's kind of lonely, to be honest with you guys, talking to the camera all the time. It's kind of a little weird, too. So, mm, it's a thing, it's what I do. Kind of like it, but it's. So, kind of weird. Took me a while to get used to, and now I don't care anymore, so, yeah. Um, see you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Turn up that. Crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?